make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are fans of the content being posted onto this channel to always be in the loop with more content similar to this and be sure to hit the video up with a like if you're enjoying the content and with that being said let's begin with another dragon ball super movie being currently worked on right now the question that many people within the dragon ball and anime community have is how is this going to impact the world of dragon ball super going forward and what exactly can we expect from this movie in connection to the dragon ball super manga and the dragon ball super anime is this movie going to follow the events of a specific arc reintroduce older characters bring about new characters in the film at this point we don't know but with the information currently given to us what we we do know and can expect from this movie is that the heads of the Dragon Ball room and the heads of Toei Animation do plan on making this movie bigger, badder, and more impactful than what we've seen in Dragon Ball Super Broly. And although there are many theories, concepts, and ideas floating around as to what exactly this movie could potentially be, one of the many concepts, ideas, and proposals that I have in what may happen in this upcoming movie is the potential of seeing Frieza's story finally come to an end. It's universal at this point and objective that every single person within the Dragon Ball community can agree with in the fact that Frieza's story at this current point in time needs to somehow come to a close and following the events of Dragon Ball Super Broly at the very end Frieza had accepted and conceded to the idea that no matter what he does no matter how powerful he becomes and no matter what the opposition is he cannot physically by himself defeat Goku and or Vegeta also adding on top of the fact that by the end of Dragon Ball Super Broly Frieza had also gauged Broly's power in wanting to simply wait for him to not only be able to control this power but potentially use Broly once again to further manipulate him and going after Goku and Vegeta, but what if it's not Broly? What if instead of Frieza pursuing Broly and needing his assistance again, we could instead see Frieza search and find himself another ally, someone of course that we've never seen in Dragon Ball Super before, or at least in the case of canon material, and that's reintroducing a canon version of his brother Cooler. As again, the possibilities at this current point in time are seemingly limitless as Toei Animation could literally do essentially anything to create a wholesome movie to where it either A, introduces older characters, or B, shines light and gives birth to a new antagonist that could potentially be seen in the Dragon Ball franchise. And if you are worried that Cooler's story wouldn't be as presentable, let's take a look at Broly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. When Broly was first announced in appearing in his own Dragon Ball Super movie, the fandom went crazy because they didn't understand, nor could they accept any idea of a good story being written for Broly in this movie. But ironically enough, it turned out that Dragon Ball Super Broly had in fact created a suitable and good story for Broly's background going forward in the Dragon Ball franchise. So the same can be said about Cooler if they want to introduce Frieza's brother as someone that could potentially help him take down Goku and Vegeta. They could always write in a good narrative to where either A, Cooler was around the entire time but simply never had any connection to his brother until now, or B, writing in a suitable narrative to where Cooler ultimately agrees in helping Frieza take down Goku and Vegeta. Which when looking back on the overall idea of introducing Cooler in Dragon Ball Super, how awesome would it be if Frieza did in fact somehow manage to link up with his brother and although the difference in power is there, how momentous would it be to see Cooler actually train with his brother in obtaining a similar power to Frieza's golden form to where not only do we have a canon version of golden cooler or something different along those lines, but also seeing how both of them put their differences aside for the common cause of defeating the two Saiyans that have been a thorn in their spine for quite some time. As I do think a brotherly duo between the two having to battle against Goku and Vegeta would be good enough to see, especially if the concept and idea of Broly being a third background character is there, that could ultimately mean if Goku and Vegeta do end up being in trouble here that Broly could be an asset to them in helping them defeat Cooler and Frieza as the movie progresses. Again, with Frieza having to admit that no matter how much he tries and how powerful he becomes, he can't come close in killing off Goku and Vegeta at will. 
So what better way than to reach out to family as assisting support in helping him achieve his goal in finally getting rid of the two Saiyans that have been bothering him since day one. But when having to look at Cooler's character, it's very obvious that yes, Frieza would be superior to Cooler when it comes to power, being that we wouldn't know what Cooler had been up to this entire time, or if he had been doing any training to keep his momentum and power equal to Frieza, if in fact it turns out that Cooler is significantly weaker than his brother, then they could easily write in many narratives to where either A, Cooler trains with his brother, B, Cooler trains by himself, or does something of significant importance to where he catches up or even potentially surpasses Frieza in power. Nonetheless, can you imagine what it would be like for Cooler to not only have a disdain for his brother, but putting all the differences he has with Frieza behind him to achieve a common goal in destroying the Saiyans. And for the first time, Cooler and Frieza back to back fighting together to destroy their common enemy. But that doesn't have to be the case following the movie all the way through, but instead, you can ultimately have a betrayal in having Frieza kill Cooler or vice versa just for the sake of proving a point and being the most destructive and vile in the entire universe. Which again, if done with Broly, then they could ultimately do the same for Cooler. As I do also believe that Cooler is a very popular character and seeing Frieza reach out to his family for support would be a good thing considering the fact that if he knows he can't beat Goku and Vegeta, then at least he can attempt to find someone of an equal status to him to help him further his cause. But not only that, one of the popular concepts running around in this entire fandom as of late is potentially seeing Frieza fuse with somebody. And if anything, I wouldn't want Frieza to fuse with any other person, but if it had to come down to it, how amazing would it be, since Frieza was there to see fusion before his very eyes, for Frieza to adapt the exact same concept in fusing with his brother. And only if the situation were to be desperate for both Cooler and Frieza can they adapt that concept, which ultimately begs the question as to how Goku and Vegeta would be able to counter this. I do believe that instead of doing fusion of their own, they could ultimately bring in Broly as a third member to combat Cooler and Frieza's fusion. So I want you guys to imagine the fusion of Golden Cooler potentially and Frieza versus Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. And what a sight that would be for the first time to not only see Cooler work alongside his brother Frieza, but to also see Broly work alongside Goku and Vegeta in his full powered Super Saiyan form to fight off against the common enemy. And with that, Goku and Vegeta could ultimately remind Broly that the person that originally killed his father Paragus was Frieza, would that give Broly more of an incentive to join the fight, especially if they end up being in trouble. Either A, Goku can fetch him by using instant transmission, or or B, Broly can simply travel there with Shile and Lemo after getting word that Frieza was up to no good. Either way, I do think that this movie holds limitless potential as to what they could do, and I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below as to what are the best and absolute worst case scenarios for this movie, as I don't think that Cooler would be an absolute disaster when looking at the overall narrative they could potentially write in, but by the end of it, if this in fact does somehow involve Frieza, then I do think that this needs to be the final movie, the final arc, the final story for Frieza, and either A, writing in a narrative to where Frieza finally becomes good, B, having a narrative be set to where Frieza fully remains neutral, or C, having Frieza officially be killed off once and for all by either Goku, Vegeta, and or Broly, and having Frieza do everything he could in his power to kill them, but ultimately by the end, he fails entirely in somehow setting something in stone to where he never comes back and finally his chapter comes to a close. And even if that were to be the case, you can kill two birds in one stone by wiping out Cooler and Frieza in the same movie which I don't know how essential that would be going forward, but at least Frieza's story could finally come to a close in seeing the fact that he had done or attempted to do everything in his ability to put down Goku, to put down Vegeta, and to even potentially destroy Earth and kill Broly, which by the end led him to failure in having his story come to a close by finally being wiped out entirely. And with Cooler introduced, you could play off the fact that neither Cooler or Frieza can get along 
long, but the only way they can is to destroy their common enemy, which are the Saiyans. Which it really all depends on the direction for this movie, if they even plan on introducing fan service to begin with, because unlike Dragon Ball Super Broly, what this movie could end up doing is catering to an entirely different audience by not having that be the case, and for them to go into a completely new and unexpected direction. But I do truly believe that if Cooler were to be that character introduced in the movie, then they could ultimately set aside a narrative to where Cooler still resents the fact that King Cold chose to pick Frieza as the person to lead the Cold faction and Cold army, which ultimately became the Frieza force by the end. In simply having that mistrust for his own father, in choosing the younger brother instead of the older one, they could ultimately write in a narrative to where Cooler is either jealous or he felt like his family betrayed him in overlooking what he could have done with the Frieza force, but instead handing it down to Frieza. And with all that being said, I do want to go on ahead and get a secondary perspective as to the overall potential of what it would be like to see Cooler involved in the next Dragon Ball Super movie, as I do want to go on ahead and welcome another Dragon Ball YouTuber, my good friend Joro, onto this discussion. As read, I want to get your thoughts as to the concept of Cooler, and if you agree that the concept of Cooler being involved would be a good thing, if not, I would love to get your thoughts as to why, and primarily focusing on Cooler and Frieza's relationship, if that were to be the case going into this movie, and if Cooler were to be introduced, what kind of narrative do you see going forward in this film, and how do you think it would be like to have Cooler actually be the next villain of this Dragon Ball Super movie? Originally, I wanted to see Cell make his return for the sake of the drama between Android 17 and 18, along with Gohan as well, but being approached with the idea of Cooler being the next potential DBS movie villain, originally I wasn't feeling the idea, but the more I thought about it, the more I believe not only it would be incredible to have him appear in the next super film, but the dynamic between Cooler and Frieza would be funny, scary. Let me also explain how he would fit perfectly in the next film. Frieza doesn't only get in contact with Cooler, but you can put in part of the next story where Frieza goes planet to planet, finding potential warriors who have the power to face against Goku and Vegeta. You can even write in how Frieza came to the realization that if two of his workers accidentally found Broly, and we all saw that end result with Tarzan Broly, Think about this, what would happen if Frieza actually tried to look for powerful warriors on each planet he discovers? Sit there and think about that compared to Dragon Ball Super Broly where they accidentally hit the jackpot, but among one of the planets, he stumbles upon Cooler and how he hasn't been seen for years. You can easily develop a story where Cooler has been banished from the Force due to his dangerous nature and how his father never trusted Cooler with the entire force, so create a story where that's why Frieza ended up being the next leader of the force, because he wants a trustworthy son like Frieza. Not only you can build jealousy, hatred, but Cooler has his brother superior complex where he believes deep down in his heart that he's better than Frieza in every way and Frieza will never be on his level. I would go as far as to say that if Frieza introduced Cooler to his golden transformation, you can create something with that where Cooler sees the transformation and he's just like, that's it? That pebble of a transformation, that's it? That's all you got? Like, you can tell already he's not impressed with the transformation because apparently he's been there, done that. So Frieza's like, okay? What do you have that's above the golden transformation? And Cooler, you know, with that cocky attitude, Cooler shows him a power beyond gold, and Frieza is just in the state of shock, like, wow, there's a power beyond gold? It looks like if Frieza wants Cooler to join him in his quest to defeat Goku and Vegeta, the both of them will have to come to an agreement in order for them to be satisfied with what they want. You can have it where Cooler wants to be the next leader of the Frieza force and take over. You can also have it where Frieza is using him but won't make him a leader. You have so much going on for Cooler and it will be so dang interesting to see Cooler finally be canon in this next film. And now, this is how I believe they would end the film if it happens of course. You know how I mentioned earlier that Frieza is just using Cooler, but he doesn't know? 
Well, the twist of the film is that Cooler ends up killing Frieza because not only he wants to take over the Force, but he knew from the start that Frieza lied about their deal. Because not only they're related, and you can have it where how if King Cold didn't trust Cooler to be the next leader, what makes you think you would just hand it over to me so easily without any question? You can have it where, you know, Goku and Cooler, they fight, biddy boop boop bop bam, Vegeta gets, uh, you know, as always, wrecked somewhere in the field. You can have it where, you know, the both of them defeats Cooler, he gets defeated, and then, you know, by typical Dragon Ball standards, they're gonna revive Frieza somehow. If Frieza gets revived, he's just gonna be like, I can't believe you did that for me, but thank you. And I guess he's gonna let them know, I'll be back next time, you know, as always. And I I can see all of that just be the ending of the film. And that's pretty much all I have to say. And I just want to say thank you to Unrelent Gaming for having me on to talk about the potential Dragon Ball super villain for this next film. And honestly, it will be so cool to see Cooler sell and possibly a new villain that comes into play. I know a lot of people talk about how they want to see Moro, but honestly, I, I think they should not do Moro. They should do someone after Moro, but hey, they can do whatever they want as long as this next film is good. Just like the Broly film, I'll take it. And I would agree because I love the concept of Frieza traveling from planet to planet, trying to look for the strongest fighters, and then suddenly he comes across his brother. And I love the overall dynamic of what could happen involving Frieza and his brother in this film. And I think that they could ultimately make this work because if they made Dragon Ball Super Broly work with Paragus and Broly, then initially I do think that the concept of Cooler would also work in and of itself as well, but I do want to go on ahead and get your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys believe that a Cooler movie would essentially work in Dragon Ball Super? And similar to what Joro said about the concept of Frieza lying to his brother and having Cooler basically turn on him, or at least have Frieza turn on Cooler at some point, do you think that that would make for an overall good story, or do you guys think that the overall concept of Cooler is overrated, oversaturated, and they need to go in a different direction if they were to go with another focus in introducing a brand new villain? I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, once more. If you guys are stoked, ready, and excited for the upcoming movie, then be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. Post your comments and theories down in the comment section below. And of course, be sure to go on ahead and subscribe and check out Joe Rose's channel, in which I will leave his channel link located down below. As again, I do want to go on ahead and thank you so much for joining me, and thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck, Zabon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>